I know. Okay, quarter inch to go yet. Eighth of an inch to go. One, one more cut down, and then uh, I'll scrape some, and then we go to the hardest one. For sure. Because yeah. you know that it's going to affect that ridge. It will. Each, each ridge will be different. Right. Okay. So, if, if <coughs> I don't know, you probably didn't notice, but what I'm watching there is my, it, well, is, is basically my angle of entry. And I know I go in so far at a certain angle, and then it's just a matter of swinging around. Because once you start doing the swinging around, you're going to go about the same. If, if you do this enough, you'll do the, about the same uh, radius. And of course, the hardest place to get it smooth, you'll sometimes get a ridge right as it goes from the cutting space to cutting into solid wood, just like you do on a natural edge bowl or something. on this because of the fact that it's air so much of the way. I just haven't found that that works for me. And I'll do, no, I'll just do a, a light one on the side. So normally, I go through and sand this all the way to finish, all right? But for the sake of time, yeah, it's a, I still need to do a little work on here, all right? But for the sake of time, I'm going <clears> to <throat> dismount it and work on the last one. Okay, so now we have one more to do, and this one's the hardest. Now I can 
put it back in the center, that's easy. But it's also nice to find the same screw holes as you went in the first time, all right? Because if you do that, then you have a pretty good chance of it running true. And sometimes, you know how MDF is when you screw through it. It mushrooms up around that. There will be times where I'll take sandpaper and just sand that all smooth again to make sure that the faceplate is seating flat. Okay. <clears throat> no more outlining or anything else. Now it's just a matter of taking out the center and doing it as a bowl. But you can see that these, maybe, can you zoom in a little? Yeah. More? Well, so they can see it, where my finger's at. You have to move the camera. Yeah. So you see these diamonds? Mm -hmm. You can see that they're fairly even. <clears throat> uh, maybe you can't because of the shadow. But they're really pretty even, okay? And that's the matter of having the good layout done and having a center finder and that stuff, okay? All right. Now, this cut is pretty weird, so you'll have to forgive me if anything goes wrong. But, you know, you're, this, this cut now, you're trying to cut through air to get down to the place where you're going to start the bowl, all right? And you start catching this part here before you actually get to the to the uh, where the bowl is going to start. So I got to remove this. Oh, and this. So it's not perfect alignment. Did you get a picture with all four things in it? Mm -hmm. no, I think I'm going to take it down just a little. I didn't get perfect alignment back, but it's not going to really show up that much. But what I'm going to try and do now As you can see, I'm starting to take out the center. What I'm going to try and do now is look at the size of the circle that I'm doing here and try and think about it as the same size circle as here. All right. Um, if I get it, if I get it much bigger, that center will actually look like this, rounded. Um, you can, if you can see now, it's kind of straight because I'm still within those radius there. Uh, it depends, if you want it nice and square, then don't, go, don't sneak past it, all right? I'm gonna do... Now this would be a lot better with Because you'd be setting up your, you know, your light and everything. Okay, and I think I'm going to cut it some more.